everyone. So I finally got my hands on one. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is the Cold Steel Viking Sword. Kind of a mix between Saxon Swords and I, more of like a maybe Type 9 style uh, Viking Sword. But uh, I found one through a third party retailer because Cold Steel has been out of them for over a year. Same with their Warhammers. Get the Warhammers back in, Cold Steel. I really want one of those. And I can't find them anywhere. Um, I have a couple of other Cold Steel products, as you've seen before. Their SRK knives are fantastic. I, I have a couple of their competition uh, throwing axes. But um, as I'm a big collector, uh, or, or I enjoy functional uh, reproduction, medieval weaponry, clothing, things like that as well, kind of as a side interest and hobby, I had to get myself a Viking sword. Saw some iffy reviews on the Grimfrost swords uh, pertaining to some of the quality control issues and things like that. I'd still like to pick one up in the future, obviously, to see for myself. But um, I know that these hold up. So we'll start from we'll start from uh, the bottom here. Great fix. There's a lot of ornate design on here. Almost a little too much. It's very, as far as the ornation and design goes, I would like this to be a little bit cleaner. Um, but it looks cool. Um, pretty, pretty nice leather wrapped wood scabbard with stainless steel fixtures. The handle, the leather wrapped handle, Seems like it may not have stuck in just a couple of spots with the glue where it almost seems like there's an air pocket in there. But it feels pretty good in the hand. It's a little, kind of a strange profile for a handle. But, um, and it's got this central rib. But, um, it's, it's not terrible. Um, fairly comfortable. Fairly comfortable in the hand. Little, little tight in the scabbard. But there you have it. Very, very nice. Good quality steel. If anybody that knows cold steel knows that they have good quality, pretty good quality steel, gotta say. Um, obviously there's still oil on it. And this came, this came sharp. It's sharp. Kind of hard to do with one hand here, but yeah, sharp, very sharp. <laughs> it it just cuts through cuts through butter. I already hacked up a little bit of cardboard with it just because I wanted to, and that was fun. But um, yeah, she's got an edge on her. Not as sharp as it could be, but it it comes sharp, and uh. Again, as you know, cold steel, extremely functional, functional blades. Very comfortable in the hand. The handle is a little bit long to historic, to, to historic standards and things like that. It's really supposed to abut right up to the bottom of your hand here for a pretty tight, snug fit on the handle. But that doesn't really bother me. It's easy to move around. The weight. It's, it is much more blade heavy. There's no balancing back here. It's, it's definitely much more forward um, as a typical older, older style sword would and should be. Um, very pleased with it though. Very beautiful, very beautiful blade. And uh, yeah, I just, I just really enjoy it. Very happy I could get my hands on one and I was glad that there was a uh, third party retailer out there that had them still. Um, because again, Cold Steel has not had them for quite a while now. So that was a nice treat. I was able to find one and pick one up. So uh, if anybody does want one, can't find one, go to opticsplanet.com. They've still got a few. I think probably about 15 in their stock. Because I don't know when Cold Steel is going to get them back in. But overall, pretty impressed with this. Just happy to have something else along with my other array of... <laughs> old school weaponry that I enjoy uh, on the side so this is just a little treat for myself and for you guys to enjoy so yeah thanks